our Summer Bash 2020. We are so pumped to bring you focus as we look this week. Now, Mr. Chuck, this is kind of early for you, it's isn't it? It's very early, Miss Ruth. Yes. Very well, early. There are some kids out there. Do you see those kids that are there joining us? Uh, let me see. Let me see. Oh, my goodness. Look at all those kids. What are they doing up so early? Yes, I it's know. Summer. It's summer. It's a little early for you in the summer, but we are here and we're going to have so many exciting, fun things to do this week. Miss Elisa, can you tell us what is today? Yes, today's theme, boys and girls, it's what? is... It's what? Give me a drum roll. Give me a drum roll. Yes, Crazy Socks Day! Holy crazy cow. Socks. Oh, I have oh, my oh, kitty oh, oh, oh. and my shirt. Who has Crazy Socks yes. on? Yes. Oh, wait, wait. Oh. Y'all don't have Crazy uh, Socks uh. on? There hold on, we hold go. on. Okay, I want you on the count of three... To run off and get some crazy socks. They don't need to match. They don't need they to be They do clean. need to match. No, they don't need to be matched. <laughs> so, on the count of three, I want you to run and find them. One. One. Two. two. Three. Go, 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 go. go, go. go. Hurry, hurry. And all Look at those week kids long, running. do you know that we are going to be focusing on what we can learn from God? Well, yeah, since That's we can't cool. always see God like God himself, but we can see him in, in nature. Yes. That's what we're going to talk about today is Good. creation and how God yeah. made everything. And we're then gonna, we're going to talk about how we can hear God. Oh, good one. Good one. Okay. And later we're going to talk about how we can pray to God and how we one. can talk to Him every day. So all week long we're going to be focusing on how we can maybe not see God, but we know that He's there. He's around us in everything that we do. Yep. Yes. Okay, wait, wait, wait. They're back. They're back. Oh, they're They've cool. got their socks on. Really? Check out their socks. Y'all oh. socks look so they awesome. They are cool. Yes. Aren't they yes. great? Okay, yes. and because your socks look so awesome, we want you to grab a grown-up, grab a brother, sister, whoever. Grab and Yes, grab them. And get them to take a picture of you in your crazy socks. Send them to us and use the hashtag SBCSB2020. What does that mean? Wait, 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 wait. Why in the world would they want to even send these to us? Oh, well, well, hang on. It is Second Baytown Church Summer Bash 2020 is the hashtag you're going to send it to. So just and shorten it, SBCSB2020. And when you send them, Mr. Chuck, yes. your name, guys, is going to go into a drawing right. for our prize. But wait, 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 wait for wait, a wait, surprise. Wait. You're going to get surprises, right? Yeah, but yeah. Yeah. there's already a name in here. Oh, well, why don't you read that name, Elise? Yeah. Mr. Chuck. Come on. I win the first okay. surprise. Well, you know I'm what? Surprised. He's got some oh. crazy socks on, Mr. Chuck. Okay, so yes, yes guys, yes. send your pictures in. Your name's going to go into a drawing. We will draw out a name, and we will bring a prize to you. How cool is that? We and their picture can be of them dressed in their theme day. It can be of you standing up and worshiping and singing in your house. It can be you making the crafts that are in your kit or creating one of our snack attack. Um, activities where you and your family That's are something. eating that together. It can be any or type of Or just playing, just doing stuff. Yes, yes. Or yes. focusing on something. Yes, we want to see pictures of you. We want to see what's happening in your house all yes. week long as we do this virtual That's summer it. batch together. So, guys, we are ready to send it off to Kelly. Okay. Yes. Right. So, Kelly? we will see them later this Kelly afternoon Taylor. for our prize patrol to see who's going to be winning the prize. Wait, well, today. who's going to be the prize patrol? It's going to be us. All right. Yes, we get to deliver prizes. We're so excited. So, here we go off to Kelly. Bye, guys. Bye. See you, guys. Hey, everyone. I'm Kelly. Welcome to Focus. I know we're supposed to be meeting together this week. As you might have noticed, things have gone a little differently than we planned. But don't worry, we can still have fun together, even while you're at home. For the next few days, we'll be playing games, singing songs, and discovering what it means to focus on God. We might not be able to see God with our eyes, but we can discover more about Him when we take a closer look. So, I thought we could kick things off right now with a fun game called Get In Focus. <laughs> This will be a fun one, and we can all play together. First, you'll see a blurry picture like this. Can you guess what it is? How about now? Right, 
It's a pair of glasses. Glasses can definitely help you focus. When you put them on, it turns something blurry like this into this. Much better. Okay, let's look at a few more blurry pictures. As quickly as you can, try to guess what they might be. All right, let's play! What do you think this is? Let's make it a little sharper. If you think you know, shout it out. It's a magnifying glass! <laughs> Good job. All right, let's try the next one. What could it be? Let's make it a little less blurry. Binoculars! What about this one? A little sharper. If you guess telescope, you're right. Let's see this one. Kinda hard, huh? Let's make it a little less blurry. It's a microscope. <laughs> and how about this one? Let's make it sharper. Who guessed contact lenses? Great job. Okay, that was really fun. As you probably noticed, all those objects were things that can help us focus. We've got some other fun focus games planned, so stay tuned. But right now, it's time for us to do one of my most favorite things in the whole world, which just happens to be a great way that we can focus on God. Go ahead, stand up, get ready to move, because it's time for us to sing to God and tell him how much we love him. I've got joy down in my soul I'm gonna let this feeling take control Joy down in my soul to stay And nothing's gonna take it away Joy down in my soul I'm gonna let this feeling take control Whatever comes my way, I'll be okay Cause I Right? 
but do you really? Because you aren't seeing us. They're not? Nope. So what are they seeing? Well, they're seeing the light off of a TV or a computer or projector screen. Right now, we're being recorded on a camera. Huh? Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> But does the camera even see us? I mean, all it's seeing is the light bouncing off our forms, right? Uh, watch this. Okay, right now, we're in pitch black darkness. You might as well be watching a blank screen. We're here, you know we are because you can hear us, but who knows whether or not it's exactly as you remember. Because of light. <laughs> I'm Kyle. This right here is Samantha. Hi, guys. <laughs> and this is Wilson. And today, we are taking a closer look at how we see things or don't. Want to see something weird? Come on. <laughs> what is that? Oh, I know that is an alien planet from a video game. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's disgusting. I wouldn't say it's disgusting, Wilson. After all, you uh, have it on your face. What? Yeah. No, get it off! No, get it off! No, it's get it off! Me too, Samantha, by the way. It's oh, I have a video game on my face. No, it's not. Alien planet. Thank you, though. Thanks. No, see, we just have to take a closer look because this is actually this. Wait, you're saying that that image is just an eyelash? Yep. Seen through a microscope. See, some things that we see every day look kind of gross and uh, freaky and foreign, you know? Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I don't think mine look like that because those look icky. Okay, well, this is tiny. Want to see something huge? No, more than anything. Okay, <laughs> so we're going to move from the microscope to the telescope. Oh, I've got one of those. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yes, this right here are the pillars of creation. They're these giant trunks of gas and dust. And some people think the gas and dust are out there making brand new stars. Whoa. Yeah, right? All of that space dust is just a combination of carbon and hydrogen. All the same things that make up you and me, but they're out there making brand new stars in the sky. So, so everything from um, the, the eyelashes on your face to these astronomical miracles 7,000 light years away are all part of the same components. Isn't that amazing? It's amazing! <laughs> but wait, how far is 7,000 light years? 41 quadrillion miles. <gasps> Why? It's crazy, right? I mean, I guess. That's so cool! <laughs> no matter where we are or what we're doing, we're all just trying to take a closer look at the things around us, whether they be teeny tiny and can fit in the palm of our hand, or they're trillions and trillions of miles out there in space. So far away. It really is. Whether we're looking at it through a, a microscope or a telescope or binoculars or even glasses, we all just want to see the universe around us. Getting to see stuff like this is amazing. <laughs> it really is. I love how we were created to see things and how there are so many things created that allow us to see. But we're not done yet. We'll be back in a little bit and talk more about it. <laughs> Do we get to blow something up? Oh, that also sounds exciting! We can sure try! Oh, boom! <laughs> This is amazing! Can you see that? Oh, 
Hey there, <laughs> my name's Kellen and that was my eyeball. <laughs> Let's do it one more time. <laughs> Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo! Ah, cool, right? Well, God gave us eyes to see and they're pretty impressive. The eye muscles are the fastest in the body. And while the eye is only an inch across and weighs less than a slice of bread, it has over two million working parts and can see millions of colors. Incredible, right? Our Bible story today is from the book of Romans and was written by a guy named the Apostle Paul. Now, Paul was not one of the original 12 disciples of Jesus, but he had a pretty amazing encounter with Jesus that changed his life. So amazing that Paul ended up writing several books in the New Testament more than any other person. And so in Romans, Paul writes this, Ever since the world was created, it has been possible to see the qualities of God that are not seen. I'm talking about his eternal power and about the fact he is God. Those things can be seen in what he has made, so people have no excuse for what they do. So what is Paul saying? He's saying, look around. Look at this incredible world. See the incredible things in nature. The ocean. The mountains. How intricate a beautiful and single flower is. Hmm. Why are these things here? Well, Paul's saying it points to a God who created them. But God's creation doesn't just include nature. Look at your friends and your family, the people that you love and that love you. Where does that love come from? It comes from how you were created. And that fact also points to a God who loves us. Paul is simply saying, stop and take a closer look. And when you do, you'll see the evidence of a God who loves you and loves the world. If we really look for it, we'll be able to see the amazing things about God and the amazing things God is doing in our world. But here's something else I wanna look at today. Even though Paul wrote this with only being able to use his eyes, today we're also going to use some tools to help us see things our eyes by themselves can't see. Let's take this telescope for example. Our eyes can only see so far, but when we look through a telescope and bring it into focus, we can see things further out in space. And some scientists have even used bigger and more powerful telescopes to see further and further into space. And here's the thing about space. It's huge! Let me show you what I've been able to see. So, here's us. But, here we are in our solar system. Yep, you see that tiny little blue dot? That's us. So, that's our solar system. But our solar system is a tiny, tiny thing in our galaxy, the Milky Way. Now, where are we in our galaxy? You gotta figure we're right in the middle, right? Nope. Our solar system, all eight of our planets in the sun, is like a speck of sand right here. And you're thinking, well, that's gotta be it, right? The galaxy's huge, so huge that I can't even wrap my head around it. But do you know how many more massive galaxies there are in the universe? Maybe a handful? Scientists now believe there are two trillion galaxies. When we look up at the stars, it lets us see the traits of a God who is bigger than our imagination. So, now that you and I are maybe feeling a little small, let me show you something else. I have a microscope here, and with super high-powered microscopes, we can see incredible detail of the smallest things. Our body is made up of all kinds of cells and some of the smallest things that can do incredible work that help us walk and talk, eat and think, digest our food, run around, climb trees, and each of those cells has its own job. Here, take a look at this. All right, let's bring this into focus. Right, there we go. What do you guys think those are? <laughs> I'll give you a hint. Everyone take a deep breath right now. Breathe in, breathe out. <sighs> breathe in, breathe out. <sighs> those things are called alveoli. Our lungs are made up of tiny air sacs that take oxygen in and carbon dioxide out with every breath. Look how incredible they are. Do you know how many of them are in your lungs? Hundreds of millions. Every breath while you're running in gym class and every breath while you're sleeping. 
When you take a closer look with a microscope, we can see that even the smallest part of us is created with such detail and care. Our God is so vast, it's mind-boggling. But He also cares about the smallest thing inside each of you. But what else can we see in creation that points us to a God we can't see? Well, we read in Genesis, in the creation story, that humans were a part of creation. And it says that we were all created in the image of God. That includes me, and that includes you. That means a lot of things, but I think it means that since we were created in God's image, we too can point to God. I'll give you an example. If I saw a building on fire, that would be pretty scary, right? But do you know what else I could see if I took out this pair of binoculars? Whoa, I'd see people. I'd see the firefighters running to put out the fire. Maybe even going inside to save people. When we see people loving others more than themselves, it points to a God who created us to do some pretty amazing things. When we really focus, we have so many things around us that we can see and observe. And even though we can't physically see God, the things we can see point to a God that is here right now working in our lives. As we learn more and more about this world that God has created for us, we can be excited about how much care God gave the world. And that's a reminder that God loves me and God loves you. And that's some pretty good news. Well, I'll see you next time as we take a closer look. Oh, hey, welcome back to A Closer Look. Today, we are talking about something so... Yeah, yes, yes. I think I get it. Okay, what do you get? Why the show is called Closer Look. Oh, okay, okay. It's because we are taking a closer look at all the things we can see. Okay, yes, very close, very close, but not just the things we can see, also the things we can't. Like dangerous ultraviolet radiation. <laughs> oh, okay, uh, yeah, no, yeah, turn that off, turn that off. That's okay, yeah, but uh, not quite that. But um, you know what? Hold on one second. I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. Coming through. Uh, ooh, perfect. Okay, so obviously there's things we can see and we know that are there. But then there are things that we can't see, but we have instruments like, hold on to that for me, thank okay. you. Instruments like telescopes to, to see where they are. But then, can you plug this in for me? Thank you so much. Then there are things we can't see, but we know they are there. Like what? Like, uh, oh. I got it. This. That's the whole point of this show. Uh, we want you to take a closer look at things, even things we can't see. Even though we can't see some things, we can know they're there because of the things we can see. I mean, there's so many things around us we can't see, but they affect everything we do day to day. Like wind. Like atoms. Oxygen. Like ultraviolet radiation light. Right, Samantha? Right? What? Oh. Did you say something about dangerous autopilot integration? No. Okay. Then I can't hear you. All right. All right. Do you have an autoscope? Do I have a bar of soap? What, what's an what's an autoscope? It's a thing that doctors use to look into people's ears. I think Samantha here stood a little too close to that fan. Oh, yeah. I can't hear you too. I think I stood too close to the fan. I think so too. P probably. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right. 
Follow me. Oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> well, what about you? What are some cool things around you that you see? And what are some things you know that are real, even though you can't see them? Have fun taking a closer look on your own, and we'll see you next time on A Closer Look. This is my faith, this is my focus All of my days, I know where my hope is I live it loud, I shout the chorus Because I know, oh you're always for us And even when it's hard for me to see, to see I will trust in you, I will believe, believe And even when it's hard for me to see, to see I will trust in you, I will believe And keep on looking for where I'm going, knowing you go there too I'll keep on looking, looking, looking to you I'll fix my eyes on you This is my focus All of my days I know where my hope is I live it loud Shut the chorus Because I know Oh, you're always for us And even when it's hard for me to see To see I will trust in you I will believe, believe And even when it's hard for me to see To see I will trust in you I will believe And keep on loving For where I'm going, knowing you go there too I'll keep on looking, keep on looking, looking to you I'll fix my I'll fix my eyes. see when we focus on what God has made it helps us remember that we can trust him no matter what remember focus on what you can see it'll help you focus on God the one who loves you and is always right there with you here's a fun question for you to think about as we leave today what's your favorite thing that God created talk about it with whoever's there with you in your house or apartment I'll see you next time as we look at more ways we can focus on God together See ya. Good morning, preschool parents. At 9.45, we're going to air the preschool segment of our Summer Bash virtual experience. It's going to have a worship song and a Bible story just for your two through five-year-olds. So come back at 945 and check out that piece for just your preschool kids. See you there.